like tonight's post game press conference. Our two one win over Houston. Uh, we're going to kick it off with an opening statement with Coach Carnell, followed by questions. So, Coach, you've got one. Yeah, thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, yeah, we said before the game we need this to be a celebration of of you know what we've been working on the last five weeks and uh, you know what we stand for as a group and. Uh, yeah, what we expect of ourselves. And I think uh, you could see a committed, hungry, energetic group out there in the first half. And, you know, to be dealt a little bit of, yeah, vulnerability, um, you know, to go down a goal and or, you know, to go to concede that that goal and then you come back again. It just shows a bit of grit and determination and exactly what this group stands for, you know. Um, never say die attitude, where by... I thought there was no need, you know, to concede how we did. I thought we mitigated the game for most parts and, and nullified their danger moments. We hit the post twice. Um, again, incredibly proud of this group. And then uh, just shows that we believe in our roster. You know, we believe in our recruitments. Um, I think uh, the guys that debuted today, you could see exactly what they're all about and uh, the energy they give us and how they complement our game model. So um, really thrilled for the group. Really excited that, uh, you know, they get the first W. But it's only half time. So, yeah, we're ready to go hopefully next week soon. Coach? Tom? Right, Jose, it looked very good throughout training camp. But <laughs> what, what have you seen in him so far that, you put him in in the 85th minute and, you know, how he's done. Yeah, I was just looking for a little bit of structure at the end there. You could see Houston becoming a little bit more threatening. And uh, I just thought, you know, playing Jubs, uh, Edu and Jose, that just complemented what we try to do. And uh, especially with uh, Celio, Klaus and Sam up top still, which were always going to be a threat. And uh, Edu with set pieces, you know, I mean, I know Jose showed a lot of good attributes and uh, so has everyone else. You know, there were a couple of gutted guys that didn't get on the field tonight. And, uh, you know, they've shown well too in preseason. Um, it was just a, a spur of the moment decision. Um, just thinking, as was Indy's call to keep him on for the set piece. So, you know, it's this moments in the game that you just have to feel and, think what's what's best in that situation and we thought that was the best way to go um but jose is eager to learn he's eager to you know to work um he's eager to ask questions and uh you know credit to him he's he's hungry yeah. coach you spoke to the grit and determination late in the game for your team but as far as the game's progression did you see what you'd expect out of the first game of the season or did you see maybe a bit more of energy from them uh, I mean, I was surprised that we that we went how we did for the for the whole ninety minutes. You know, I thought maybe at some point we might, you know, fatigue a little bit. Um, but I mean, if you look at Sam and and Klaus up top, the way they're running that they put out there, and you know the the tenacity to come back in the game and be ready for transitions again, and then running in behind, and it, so I thought, you know, I think from from you know. The defense all the way through to the to the strikers. We we did a hell of a job. Um, just shows that we've been working really hard in preseason, and uh, we came through unscathed. You know, with without any issues in preseason. You know, there were no casualties, um, and everyone was available. So competitiveness was always there in the group, um, and I think that showed tonight. So really thrilled with with the overall performance. Bradley, was there a sense of deja vu with Tim Parker scoring the first goal of uh, another season? Three guys. Yeah, I mean, he, he's primed for big moments, right? And big moments, the start of our season, uh, the start of it. Well, he, he scored in the playoffs and, and now he scores in, in our debut in the, uh, in the, in the CONCACAF tournament. So, you know, um, he's a season pro. He's experienced. Um, he's a gamer. Uh, he loves to, to play with power and intensity and anytime he can get up the field, uh, he puts his body about, um, you know, he's hard to play against in the back line. Um, but going up, we know he's a, he's a real dangerous threat there. Coach, we saw Indy Vasilev, uh, kind of come down the tunnel in this game. Do you have any injury updates on him? I don't want to speak out of turn. Um, something's going on with his wrist. Uh, whether yeah, I, I don't want to put words in my mouth that uh, you know. I just want to keep it at that. But he has uh, injured his wrist. Yes, coach. Actually, to keep on Indy, it looked like you're about to sub on Blom as he was stepping over that free kick to yeah. send it in, but he wanted to stay on. What did that mean in that moment? Yeah, listen, I trust my group, um, and Indy made a sign and a signal to the bench, and it was like, not yet. <laughs> so we stopped. We aborted the substitution, and uh, yeah, we have set plays in mind. And then Alex has been working hard at set plays. Um, our, our goalkeeper coach and and uh, set piece specialist. Um, so yeah, he's uh, 
I just have a hungry, confident group right now, right? So they, every, they want to spend every minute on the field. They want to give everything for the team. Um, and we want to win games. Um, and I told the boys after the game, let's celebrate these moments more, you know, because not everything's a given in life and there's always things that are happening and, and life passes us by really quickly. So, you know, I want us to enjoy these moments. And Indy decided to enjoy 20 more seconds. Coach, you talked at Media Day a little bit about how well the back line played in the preseason, how well they looked in front of Berkey, and they even said the same thing when I talked to them. Your assessment on how they kind of played tonight and, you know, as we get into the season here a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I know we, we concede the offsides goal, but we play, you know, how we do. And you could see it was quite intentional with the way they play with, with uh, you know, Kiris Kuria running late through in the, in the second run, uh, LEU running the line as well. You know, Ferreira also, you know, strong to, to get him behind and that's one of the things you have to deal with right so um but overall very happy with the group i mean you know roman had one or two moments but um nothing that you know we've been seen in terms of history right so what what we left behind last year we left behind and we feel very confident now that we don't want to give too many chances up and you know the less we see roman and the less we use roman the better i sit on the sidelines so um the boys have been working hard um to to try and get that right um and again we've had a bit of a staggered or studded preseason in terms of joachim nielsen not being available all the time and traveling back home to get uh, his paperwork sorted out same with Eddie leuven weren't able to go the full minutes and weren't able to put themselves in contention for starting um but it just shows that we have a lot of uh, determination um a lot of hungry guys to get minutes and i think that helps our overall product Coach, did it feel a little bit like last season with the home environment? You just get a sense a goal is coming before Tim's first goal. A lot of opportunities really active. Do you just have a sense at that point something good is about to happen? Yeah, it's momentum, right? So I said it a couple of times and I said it to the boys in the in the locker room, you know, if you bring energy the way we play, especially in front of these fans and our crowd, energy turns into momentum and where can you utilize momentum is is up in their end, you know, play in their half, uh, create chances, win those counter pressing moments, you know, we're closer to goal, uh, we can transition, we can be dangerous um, and the more dangerous you are, you know, the better chance there is of you, you know, getting one on target or scoring goals or, you know, ultimately winning games. Two questions yep. on Zoom. Yeah, we're going with uh, Herman Benitez. Uh, go ahead, Herman. Yes, sir. Just wanted to ask your thoughts on there at the end of the game before the goal after the Dynamo scored. You know, it feel like the momentum swung towards the Dynamo's direction, and you were able to escape the game with the win. Just wanted to talk to you in the second half, uh, your thoughts on, on the game after after the Dynamo were able to break away and, and score that equalizer. Yeah, listen, I mean, we actually have a controlled situation where we're two versus one on the sideline and, you know, we go to ground, try and win the ball. We actually win the ball twice um, and then unlucky things happen, right? So, um, unfortunately, we couldn't recover from that rebound moment and, and we give up a goal. In terms of the momentum shifting, you know, that's why we decided to to make the changes we did. We decided to bring Jose in uh, just to solidify the midfield, which ultimately was a catalyst uh, to get us back and gain that momentum again. So, you know, I don't look at that too dramatically. Um, the boys are trying the right things. Um, we trust them in, the, in those moments. Uh, we'll look at film, um, but overall, very happy with the performance. Last question from uh, Christian Moraes. Go ahead, Christian. Good evening, coach. Christian hey. Moraes from Territorium LS Brazil. Congratulations on the win. Thank coach, you. Coach, uh, I'd like you to talk about Celio Pompeo performance in today's game. He ended he ended up getting involved in the movie that that really did you some goal, but then the talk part of the movie that really lead to winning goal. Yeah, listen, from what I got of your question, I think, uh, you know, the minute uh, we make the change with Celio, we know he's a threat in behind. We know he combines very well with Klaus, and uh, those guys have a good relationship with each other. Um, Celio does a good job, you know, coming back in the game. He's got good energy. He can win 1v1 battles um, going forwards, and defensively, he's pretty solid. So, um, you know, we just think that he's the next wave of energy from the bench, um, and that's what the game demanded that's what the game needed and ultimately you know that was the decision to get Celio on the field so you know we can utilize Celio at different positions we can play him in the last line as as a striker can put him in the 10 we can put him out wide um to go in in uh you know 1v1 duels in isolation so um yeah Celio did a good job 
Coach, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. All right. Thank you very much. See you next week. Thank you.